Hello everyone. My name is Abhijit Shaw and I am a final year MSc statistics student from University of Kolani. My group members are Shayun Guho Roy, Partho Sharoti Ghosh and Shourav Ghosh. Coming to our project title. Our project title is Prediction of Avocado Prices in USA. And here is our problem statement. In this project, we have tried to predict the average price of avocado. Here, we have used multiple linear regression, random forest regression, and decision tree regression to predict the desired outcomes. And we have done the entire coding in Python. Here, I have provided a bit of information on avocado. Our data has been taken from Kaggle and our data contains 13 variables and 18,249 rows. As said earlier, our data contains 13 variables and the variables are unnamed, date, average price, total volume 4046, 4225, 4770 and these are the various sizes of the avocado, total bags, small bags, large bags, x large bags, type that is whether the avocado is conventional or organic, the year and region. Now since the unnamed column was not meaningful, we have eliminated the unnamed column and the variable date has been splitted into two more columns. One column is day and the other column is the month. Now here is a table about information on all the variables in our data. Now luckily, we didn't have any missing values in our data. As said earlier, the coding has been done in Python 3.7.7. Now while coding, we have used some very well known packages in Python, namely NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, Seaborn, sklearn and stats models. Before going to model fitting, first let us do some analysis on our variable average prices. Here the plot shows the average prices of avocado at various points of time. Clearly we can see that the average prices of avocado has increased over the years. The plot here shows the average prices of avocado per month. Clearly, we can observe that the price rises for a while in February to March, then it falls in April, and then the month of May witnesses a rise in the average price. And this rise reaches its zenith in the month of October and henceforth it starts to fall. The plot here shows the average prices of avocado per day. Clearly, the plot implies that the price fluctuates in a similar manner at regular intervals. The bar plot shows the average prices of avocado at various regions in a descending order. Clearly, the bar plot shows Hartford Springfield, San Francisco, New York, are some of the regions in USA with the highest prices of avocado. The figure here is the histogram for average prices of avocado. Clearly, the histogram shows that the distribution of average prices is somewhat positively skewed. 
the figure here shows the factor plot of average prices a factor plot is simply the same plot generated for different response and factor variables and arranged on a single page the colorful plot here is a heat map comprising the values of correlation coefficient between the features of our study the lower the value the deeper is the color blue and higher the value the deeper the color red clearly from the plot we can say that the average price is not correlated with any of the variables the table here shows the variance inflation factor for each variable in our data the plot here shows the box plot of all the variables in our data clearly the box plot indicates that all the variables in our data contains outliers so before we go on to model fitting we need to take care of these outliers as we have seen from our box plot that our data contains outliers so we need to take care of these outliers so instead of eliminating the outliers we have replaced the outliers higher than the upper whisker by the value of the upper whisker and the outliers lower than the lower whisker by the value of the lower whisker so now from this box plot we can clearly say that our data is free from outliers and it is expected that we will achieve higher accuracy with it now we have come to the final step of our data pre processing and that is taking care of the categorical variables now our data set contains two categorical variables regions and type where regions are the various regions in usa and type is whether the avocado is conventional or organic now since regions contains more than one categories we use a technique called the one hot encoding in regions now what is one hot encoding one hot encoding creates equal number of columns with ones and zeros as the number of categories in a categorical variable a column for a specific category contains ones where the category is present and zeros elsewhere type variable contains two categories hence we use label encoding on the variable type now what is label encoding label encoding assigns numerical value to the categories of a categorical variable in their alphabetical order the indexing starts with zero this is the very first step of model fitting and that is splitting our data set into training and test here we have used 80% of the data set for training and 20% of the data set for testing coming to our very first model that is multiple linear regression here we have fitted our multiple linear regression model with x train and y train and made predictions using x test and stored it in y pred for this model we have calculated explained variance r square that is the coefficient of determination adjusted r square mae that is the mean absolute error msc that is the mean squared error and rmsc that is the root mean squared error and this is the procedure we have followed for each and every models here is the summary of our multiple linear regression we can clearly see that our r square is 0.6665 so we can say that our model has a moderate fit to the data the figure here shows the scatter plot of y test and y predicted for multiple linear regression coming to our second model that is the decision tree regression coming to the summary of the decision tree regression 
Here we have obtained an R square of 0 0.8419 which is an improvement than the multiple linear regression. So we can say that the decision tree regression has a good fit to our data. The figure shows the scatter plot of y test and y predicted for decision tree regression. Coming to our very final model and that is the random forest regression. The random forest regression yields an R square of 0 0.9055 which is way better than the multiple linear regression and the decision tree regression. So we can clearly say that the random forest regression has a very good fit to our data. The figure here shows the scatter plot of Y test and Y predicted for random forest regression. Now using k-fold cross validation, our multiple linear regression model obtained an accuracy of 64.14%. Our decision tree regression model obtained an accuracy of 81.33% and our random forest regression model obtained an accuracy of 88.51%. So clearly our random forest regression model is the best model here. And finally we have come to the very last part of our project and that is the conclusion. As you know we have used three models in our project that is 1 the multiple linear regression model, 2 the decision tree regression model and 3 the random forest regression model and as per our conclusion we proclaim that using k-fold clause validation as the basis for model selection we declare random forest regression model as the best suited model for our purpose of predicting average prices of avocado in USA. Lastly we want to thank Dr. Ganesh Dotto for his continuous support in building the project. We are really thankful to him. And if you like the project, do hit that like button. Till then, goodbye.